how to start selling hair extensions online with minimal investment. Hey, this is Mikey at the Hair Business Blueprint, and I'm gonna go over a hot topic that I get asked often. How can I start selling hair extensions? I'm talking bundles, closures, frontals, wigs, with a minimal investment. Stop the cap. <laughs> Now, I'm going to say, first off, despite what you probably see online, it is a little bit challenging, but it's also possible. How? Hold on, bro. How? There are ways that you can get started with a low investment, and that's what we're going to go over today. Now, the first thing you're going to have to understand if you are going to be running this business very lean and starting off with very little investment is there's a trade-off. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? There's pros and cons to everything. You're gonna either be trading your time or money when starting a hair business. Okay. And in this example, we're gonna have to talk a lot about your time because maybe you don't have the funds to invest into the business. Investing, I mean, maybe you're hiring a writer to write blog posts for you, set up the website, design some graphics. These are all things you're gonna have to do yourself. <laughs> now, don't be discouraged. It's gonna be a fun process. As long as you understand, you're gonna have to take this step by step. It's also probably gonna take a little bit longer because you're gonna be relying on your personal social media, you're gonna to have to get your business social media set up, but you're not gonna have any followers, and maybe you don't have the funds to throw a ton of money at Facebook ads, Instagram ads, or hire a bunch of influencers. But that's okay. As long as you start off on the right path, you will be set up for success. Oh my God! First things first, I need you to set realistic goals that you're gonna have to take this step by step to get your first hair sale, your second hair sale, one hair sale a day, and so on. It's gonna take a little bit of extra work because you're gonna have to put in your time to make things happen. Oh, hell no! You probably don't have a big social following for this new business yet, so the social media posts aren't gonna be working. You may not have a ton of budget to throw at Facebook and Instagram ads. You're just gonna have to take your time and build this business step by step. Make sure you're checking out my YouTube series on this channel called Building a Brand, where I'm actually walking you through step-by-step step about starting a hair business from scratch with a limited budget. Because you are starting out with a minimal investment, you're gonna have to focus on what's the most important first. What do you mean by that? You might not be able to buy expensive packaging and spend tons of money on other things that are not a necessity to get your business started first. Now, starting off with a minimal investment is not always bad. You know, you're gonna have low risk with getting started. You're gonna learn a whole lot more because you're gonna be doing a whole lot more of the work. I don't want you to be discouraged with this because it is possible. When I first started my hair business back in 2014, I myself was on a very limited budget as well. It actually was a side hustle for me for two and a half years before I had three employees. I was the fourth and then came on full time. If I can do it, you can do it too. Let's go over some of the essential steps of starting to sell hair extensions online with a minimum budget. Let's go. First thing is you're gonna have to choose a business model. This is holding inventory or drop shipping. If you're gonna hold inventory, it's gonna be a little tough because we know that bundles are expensive, closures are expensive, wigs, very expensive, especially if we're getting into HD lace, all the different densities, closures, frontals, there's a lot involved. I would highly recommend doing drop shipping in the beginning. As your business starts going, you can start inventorying some product. Drop shipping is going to allow you to sell tons of different products online without the upfront cost of holding inventory. Now, the easy way to do is to start with a reputable dropshipper. Of course, I have all the resources 
you need in the description below. So make sure you check that out. I got you, homie. Working with a reputable dropshipper like Dropship Beauty should take a lot of the pain away because it's been in business dropshipping since 2016. Probably the biggest one in the United States has a whole variety of products and works with thousands of stylists across the US. Basically saying the products are proven. Now there are other options out there. You can head on Google, Alibaba, different places looking for dropshippers. I would definitely say go with a USA based dropshipper. It's very important that the dropshipper is sending out your hair packages ASAP from the United States to limited limit delays that can happen with overseas suppliers. Now, some cons of drop shipping would be you don't have full control of your package before it goes out. I know some people are control freaks, but in the beginning of starting this business, you're going to have to let some of that go away because you're not gonna have control of everything that happens. You might be set up on an e-commerce platform and it crashes. These things happen all the time. You're not always gonna have full control. I know it's really tough for new entrepreneurs, seasoned veterans, they understand that sometimes you're gonna just, things are gonna happen. Now, the key is to also to find a drop shipper that when you are ready to have packaging, can actually package your products so it looks great under your brand name. Uh, one advantage I love about Dropship Beauty is they actually take a photo of every order before it ships. And this is great because if you have any questions about the order, they can always pull that back up and use it as a reference. Now, drop shipping is going to save you a lot of money, not just on the inventory, but let's just think of packing and shipping. It's going to be, you're going to need a printer, print out packing slips. You're going to need a printer to print out shipping labels. You're going to need packaging supplies like poly mailers, maybe boxes, tape. You're going to need a computer. You're going to need to spend your time packing and ship the orders. If you're working a full-time job, what are you going to run home and ship your orders? I don't think so, it's not realistic. You're going on a seven day cruise, who in the heck's gonna pack and ship your orders from home? Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Drop shipping takes care of all that. That's why I love drop shipping in the beginning. And then you can think about a hybrid model where you're gonna start inventory, pack and shipping a small amount of products and then drop ship the rest. But for now, we don't need to worry about that. I would say focus on drop shipping to minimize your initial startup cost. Now, legally setting up your business, it should be pretty easy. You can generally register an LLC online. It's usually about a hundred bucks. It's not bad. Uh, once you have your LLC, you can get your tax ID. That's going to be free from our friends at the IRS. And then you can get a business bank account, put a couple hundred bucks in there and get a debit card and you're going to be off and running. Now you are going to want to check with your local city or state and say, Hey, I'm setting up a business online. Do I need like a permit to sell online or something like that? Some sort of business license. It's always good just to check. It, it's usually something that's very low cost. They just like to know you're doing business and do it in the beginning. It's not a big deal. I'm telling you, it's just like a phone call and email away. And I just want to make sure you're set up for success. It's not going to cost much, so don't worry about that. Now to sell online, you are going to need a website. And I know there are tons and tons of options. GoDaddy, Squarespace, Wix, WooCommerce, Shopify. Now this is definitely a place I would not skimp on your investment. We highly recommend using Shopify. When you look at all the features, it ends up being a low cost service. They have 24 seven tech support, plenty of free themes, and it also integrates perfectly with the Dropship Beauty hair dropshipping app. So I would definitely consider that. Now people are like, well, my friend said Wix is easy. I'm telling you Shopify is the number one platform. And when you start out, you don't want to get set up on a platform that is going to be limiting in the future, maybe like a Wix, and then have to eventually move over to Shopify. We made this mistake and did this in 2019. It was a complete disaster over at Private Label. Are you serious? We got through it, but literally it took us years and it probably tens of thousands of dollars to fix everything. 
because once your site starts getting big and then you have to move it and redesign everything, it's not fun. So that's why I always say the Shopify is going to be like your foundation. So you have your foundation and we're going to start building it up from there. They have tons of apps available to help supercharge your website when you're ready. We're talking about things like email marketing, SMS marketing, reviews apps, and more. Now, if you want to go on the cheap, cheap, which some of you might want to do, you can get on platforms like Facebook or Etsy. Instagram lets you set up a shop now, TikTok shop. Now, it's going to be a little bit harder to manage inventory and figure how you're going to do that without inventory. You're going to still have to do drop shipping, but it is possible. It's going to be a little bit more legwork. Now, if you set up your Shopify store first, you can then integrate with all these platforms for free with their apps because they want you selling on their platforms and it would make things a lot easier and you can still do drop shipping that way and not have to worry about packing and shipping all the orders. But if you don't have the 30, 40 bucks to pay for Shopify upfront, you can hop on Etsy. Maybe you make custom wigs, one of a kind, beautiful wigs, Start selling on Etsy. I see a lot of success there. You can start selling on, selling on Instagram. Now you are gonna need a payment provider if you're not gonna go directly through their system. So you're gonna wanna be set up with probably definitely PayPal, maybe Stripe. There's tons of different payment processors out there, but I want you to think about how am I gonna take the payments? How am I gonna manage packing and shipping these orders? So what am I gonna to need to get, in, uh, get involved with that as far as, you know, do I need a special account with USPS, FedEx, UPS? There's lots of options. Now, as you are growing your business, you can get shipping discounts, which can help. But think about those if you really need to get started on the cheap cheap. Nice. Now, some basic website tips is you are going to need product photography. You know, I go over that in the building a brand series on this YouTube channel. And I actually took the initial photos with my phone. There are ways you can use AI now to create model photos because a photo shoot honestly gets pretty expensive. You know, we did a calculation here at Private Label. We generally spend on average five to $600 per product per photo shoot. And we have our in-house photographer and our own studio. <laughs> you know, when I first got started, we didn't have AI that can make these amazing images. Now I'm not saying go all in on AI, but if we're on a budget, it's a great way to get started. You know, once you get going, an easy thing you can do and real popular in today's hair market is to have user generated content. That is where a great reviews app is gonna come into play. You can offer someone a discount to get some user generated content. Maybe they're out at night, they're all dolled up, they're gonna take some photos, maybe they can make a video, maybe they're gonna make a YouTube review, and you can give them a little piece of the pie if their customers order and they refer people. Think of it like an affiliate program. So don't think that you have to spend tons of money up front to do a photo shoot. Hey, maybe you look great and you can wear some of the hair and you can do your own photo shoot for promotion. That's great. When I got started, I couldn't do that. As a matter of fact, we didn't do our company's first photo shoot until 2016. So we launched in 2014, beginning of 2014. So we had 2014, 2015, and halfway through about two and a half years before we did our first big grand photo shoot. Now it was expensive. We rented a studio, we had models, photographers, we had makeup artists, hairstylists. It was about a $10,000 day. But at that point, we've already sold over a million dollars in hair extensions. So we've reinvested back in the business. And that's one thing when you're starting off with a budget, a small budget, you're gonna have to understand. Reinvesting back in your business is gonna be an absolute key to success. If you got a thousand dollars of orders at launch and you're out popping bottles with this money, instead of investing it back into your business, you will not be successful. I promise you, do not get too excited. You haven't earned the right to take money out of your business yet. There's still a long way to go. A lot of things you're gonna have to set up, invest back in your business. I'm telling you, the investment is what's going to make this thing grow. If you take out that $1,000, it could limit you from selling eventually $1,000 a day. That's $30,000 a month. 
you know? So think about that. Think about this business as a baby. My good friend Kendall Ficklin talks about this all the time. I'll put a link below in the description to the interview with Kendall Ficklin, but Kendall Ficklin talks about a baby and how you have to feed the baby to grow. It's the exact same thing with the business. You have to feed the business to grow. Feeding the business is gonna be your money and your time. And those are the only two things that are gonna make this thing grow. So be prepared to invest back in your business. You know, a great part about setting up your business is setting up all the social media accounts. Luckily, it's free to set up your Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. You can start making YouTube videos. I, if I was starting today, kind of like I'm starting my new, my new brand, I would document the whole thing, create a hair business vlog. Hey guys, I'm starting this new business and I'm gonna show you the day-to-days and start creating day-to-day quick little tips and tricks and show people the ins and outs and the wins and failures. People love watching a story and it's great for you to document everything. Throw it up on YouTube. Maybe you're gonna make even money from YouTube, some YouTube revenue because people start following your story. This is a great way. You gotta be extra strategic when starting with little to no money. Okay, because the hair industry is ruthless. But I can tell you, people like to buy from people they like or brands they like. So don't worry about all these other brands out there because people will buy from you if they like you. If they can see an inside look at your story, there might be a better chance that they're gonna purchase from you. I'm not saying your friends and family because that's always a hot topic because, oh, I started a business, my friends, my family, no one supported me. You don't start a business because you think your friends and family are gonna buy from you. Never do that. Now, once you are on a platform like Shopify and you're going to have to start building some lists, AKA email marketing. The cool thing is Shopify has a program called Shopify email. You can actually build up your subscriber base to like a thousand users without paying a dollar. So that's a great way to get started. And that's another reason why I like Shopify. They do make it easy for people to get started with some of their software at a very low cost until you start getting users because they know, hey, this company is getting started. They have 50 people on their newsletter. They're not making the funds yet, right? They wanna keep you going as well so you can keep paying Shopify. I want you to remember that. So you're gonna have to utilize technology as much as possible to get this thing going. Now, when you're working with influencers, it can dramatically help your sales. You're gonna tap into their audience. now. Before you start working with an influencer, make sure you have some of the common things set up. Your Facebook, Instagram ads, even with a small budget, as long as you have your Facebook pixel set up, you can try to uh, retarget your users, okay? So retargeting, making sure they're seeing your ads, make sure you have a little pop-up on your website, then hopefully you can capture an email. I want you to think, if some influencer promotes this new brand that you have, and nobody knows said brand, they're gonna send some of their following over to your website. If you don't have a way to capture their email address or phone number, you're gonna lose because most of the people that are coming over are just taking a look, okay? So don't expect for this influencer to send you tens of thousands of dollars in sales initially, unless it's like Kim Kardashian and Kylie Jenner, but they're like a million bucks for Instagram posts. That's not realistic for this video. So make sure that you are working with a micro small influencer, check out their engagement. Now you might be able to say, hey, look, I'm just getting started. I wanna work with you long-term. I don't really have the funds. Can I send you some hair for free? I don't really have a budget to pay for, you know, said post. That's okay. A lot of people might say no, but honestly, a lot of people might say yes. And you might be able to build a long-term relationship. The key is getting people before they get too big. Maybe somebody that's new, but consistent with their social media posts. And hopefully you guys can grow your business relationship together on a budget. Now remember your website needs to do a lot more than just sell. It has to educate and inform. This is where blog posts come in. You can write blog posts for free. But once again, it's going to take some of your time and it's hard to be creative for a long period of time. So what you're gonna need to do is start writing articles day by day. Don't try to sit there and write eight hours straight. It's not gonna happen. I've tried it, I've failed many times, okay? So carve out a little bit of time each day, maybe 30 minutes to an hour, maybe start writing at a park or typing on your laptop at the park. 
Be in a creative space, no distractions. Start thinking about some topics. You can use a free tool like AI, ChatGPT, and say, hey, I just started a new hair brand and I need 20 topics about hair bundles, closures and frontals. Trust me, it'll spit them out fast. You can do little tweaks. You can even then say, hey, AI, give me an outline for this article so it can tell you exactly what you need to put in this article, but I promise you it will be much better for SEO purposes and your customers if you don't use AI for the whole entire article. You should know more than AI about your products and services. It's gonna be key. Now, if you're a hairstylist, obviously that's an advantage because you can write all the information you have in the blog post. You can make re uh, videos of putting hair in on your clients and talk about certain things if your clients are okay with that. Think about every little thing that you can document, get photos, videos, how you can portray that nicely on your website and just start building it out. You know, when you get your Shopify site, you are gonna need photos, not necessarily videos in the beginning. So think about that you can use Canva, you can use a free app like Canva. Now there are paid versions and you can get stock photography and start filling out and building out the website. I actually have a lot of tutorial, tutorials and even live videos on this channel all about building out your website with photos, videos and such, arranging products. So take a moment and check those out. It's all free resources. Now, if you're thinking about drop shipping, I do have some free drop shipping courses free fits right in your budget, right? Those are on the hairbusinessblueprint.com. Of course, I have a link in the description for these. So I invite you to check those out. I love the idea of starting a hair business on a budget with little to no money. It is gonna force you to be creative and scrappy, get down and do the work. What I love about that is eventually as your business grows, you're gonna have to hire help and start investing in staff whether it's a freelancer or somebody that comes in-house. If you know how to do it, you're going to be able to teach them your ways. It always helps to hire people that are a little bit better than you at certain subjects, but still, if it's a certain platform, if you have certain things that you do for your business, certain ways that people are used to, if you've done it yourself, it's much easier to train someone else. I can tell you at Private Label over the last decade, pretty much every system we've built and every new product or service. It's something that I helped out with or built together with somebody so I know the full process. Building the brand yourself and not having too much outside help in the beginning is gonna be very rewarding. You're gonna have a higher level of knowledge and hey, if this hair business doesn't work out and eventually you wanna go into something else, you have learned so much during this process. And I promise you, the next business you start is gonna be a whole lot easier. You're gonna be able to do it even cheaper, faster, and more successful. So I invite you to start your hair business on a budget. It's worth the risk. And please let me know in the comments if you have any questions about starting a hair business. If this video has helped you out, maybe give me a little thumbs up. Always appreciated. Of course, you should have subscribed because it's free and I have tons more videos coming soon for you. So thank you and I hope you enjoyed the video.